return to this indigenous leader in his own words. Last night, I sat down with Davi Kapanawa, who is a Right Livelihood laureate, along with his organization, Hutukara Yanomami Association. Kapanawa is a shaman of the Yanomami people, one of the largest indigenous tribes in Brazil dedicating his life to preserving his culture and protecting the Amazon rainforest. I began by asking him to talk about the threats facing the Yanomami people. My name is Davi Kopenawa Yanomami. I am a representative of the Yanomami people in Roraima and Amazonas states in Brazil. My people, the Yanomami, is a sacred people. Até, até hoje, o não indígena não, não, não Up until today, the non-indigenous peoples haven't recognized where we come from, where we were born. And that is why the non-indigenous society is always messing up with our homes, destroying our land, our territory, contaminating our rivers, killing our fish. And hindering the health of the Yanomami people, who are now contaminated by men, men who came and contaminated our home. The recent election of Jair Bolsonaro as the president of Brazil, how has that affected indigenous people? O presidente Bolsonaro president ele... Bolsonaro was elected by his own people. Us, indigenous peoples, we haven't participated in it. We have not voted for him, but he's now there. And he is preparing a trap. He is preparing a trap for my Anamami people in order to fool us and manipulate us. Explain more what that trap is. It is a trap, just like the one you use to hunt an onça, Brazilian jaguar, or a snake when they're sleeping at their homes. Men prepare a trap to, to get the animal. So it is a trap to, to mistreat us. He threatens us to make my people fall ill, to make our children fall ill and get diseases. That's what I mean by trap. That's the trap he always uses to any kind of indigenous people. Uh, 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 and the planet Earth. Can you explain Bolsonaro's latest moves, trying to get a law passed uh, that would allow for more gold mining, and what that means for the Anamami and other indigenous people? Fazer, uh, before he was able to, to become a president, he already has this thought, this intention of reducing the size of our land. He says it is too much land for just a few indigenous peoples, and it is a land very rich in minerals in wood. He says that the land is good for plants such as crops of soybeans or sugar cane. They want to use the land to plant things that they use for food, food for the city. That's his reasoning. He wants to extract things from the underground 
That's his concern. He wants to extract the wealth from the earth. Right from the land where Yanomami people have been living for many, many years. That's why he keeps talking about it. He created a legislation. It is a bill for mining, and he wants to get it approved at our National Congress. And I am aware of it. I know that if they let it happen, this is really um, a worry for me. Mercury, what's used in the gold mining process, how does it make people sick? Well, it was pretty I'm going to explain it to you. This mercury that they use vem buscar no outro lugar. They use it when o they uh, they actually get it o from Japão. somewhere else, from Japan or from Ele here in Europe. And then they use it é, in their mining activities. The machines come to dig a huge hole to extract minerals. And then it goes on the rivers. The rivers are full of minerals, full of gold, full of sand and mud. The mercury is then dropped on the rivers and they use it to separate mud and sand so that the only thing left behind is gold. That's what they use it for. And the mercury is then left inside of the river. It won't melt like sugar does. It stays there. It is a disease that stays within our rivers. And then fish come and eat smaller fish. Just like fruits that fall into the rivers. And then fish get contaminated. And us, Yanomami, who live by the rivers, we use the water to make food or to bathe in it and to drink it, and after, we get sick. We get cancer. And our children then born smaller than usual, underdeveloped. That's what mercury is causing. Our health is terrible in Yanomami people because of it. Davi, I wanted to read a few of Bolsonaro's quotes. In 1998, he said, it's a shame that the Brazilian cavalry hasn't been as efficient as the Americans who exterminated the Indians. The president of the United States, they exterminated our indigenous peoples who lived over there. He's doing just the same. He's repeating it. He wants to kill my people. He wants to get rid of the forest. He wants to destroy our health. That's the role he's playing. That's a law that came from the United States. And the Brazilian government is using it as a copy, like you call it. I wanted to read another quote from a few years ago, 2015. Bolsonaro said, the Indians do not speak our language. They do not have money. They do not have culture. They are native peoples. How do they manage to get 13% of the national territory? And he said, there is no indigenous territory where there aren't minerals, gold, tin, Magnesium are in these lands, especially in the Amazon, the richest area in the world. 
I'm not getting into this nonsense of defending land for Indians, Bolsonaro said. If you could comment. Ele ouviu falar outra pessoa. He heard other people talking. É por isso que ele, ele, ele falou que nós, and that's why he says that us Yanomami people claro do not speak Portuguese. Of course, meu, por, por we don't Yanomami speak é Portuguese Portugal, because we're not from Portugal. Nós somos we are Yanomami Brasil. from Brazil. Nós temos própria, nossa we língua. have our own Ela language. Yanomami. It exists. It is Yanomami. Yanomami não precisa de dinheiro. Yanomami do not need any money. Yanomami não pode assim não precisa de dinheiro. Yanomami do not need money to go on and steal amigo, from others, to steal parede, from friends, from irmão. your own relatives and brothers. Yanomami, We don't need that. É, é pensamento diferente. Yanomami has a different way of thinking. É por isso que ele, ele... Ele leu contra nós. He read things contra against nós, us. Porque ele He has read ele perdeu things because ele perdeu uh, quando nós ganhamos. He vitória. lost when pegamos, we had our victory. A nossa terra when roubada, we were able to have again então, é to que get que back for us our land that had been stolen from us and that's why he ele, talks eu, eu, eu against us and he speaks these bad povo. things about us and I eu defend defendo, myself and my nome, people on behalf of my people fala. I defend não the name of my people and our language What's the não use for the Yanomami não to speak Portuguese? We're not interested in it. We're interested in our own language, our knowledge, sabedoria do, do nosso povo que the já knowledge usou. of our people é, who uses its nós. own language. That's what's certo? interesting for us. Ele fala que é, um, Bolsonaro falou que But I wanted to é respond to the, the second thing that claro you read é, about claro his claro words é when Brasil he speaks é of our wealth. Of course, there's a lot of Brasil wealth. É Brazil is very rich. Rico. Our country, rico Brazil, is very rich. Boa. Rich and good de land and forests. Montanha, rich in mountains e and waters. E que a gente usa remédio uh, uh, medicine, remédio natural the natural medicines that we bonito. use and beautiful places Esse é que nós somos ricos. that's where we're rich in nós já no mami que mora lá as Yanomami who live e, there e nunca passou fome who have antes never chegar, experienced hunger before people who came to invade our land, to invade Eles Brazil. When they first met us, Eles we were healthy. They found comida, us healthy banana, with lots of manioca, food, banana, é, macaxeira, manioc, cana, pupon, sugar cane, cará, palm heart, fruta, cará fruit, da, da floresta, and all the fruits animal, you find in the caça, forest, anta, animals, game that we peixe, hunt, é tudo. Taper, é fish, é everything, that's what we're, we're rich in. It's not the kind of wealth that you need to dig a hole in the earth to find it, to destroy the land. Our people is different. That's why he speaks against us. And I don't want to say bad things about him, but he attacked us, so I will attack him. Eu não vou dar uma flechada nele, não. I am not going to attack him with a bow and arrow. É, However, I am going to, briga é to fight boca, o papel. using my mouth and então, paper. Ele realmente, ele, ele, ele usa como He palavra, uses words and the word that you use which is prejudice he doesn't like indigenous peoples he does not want to let the yanomami people to live at 
peace protected. He does not want that. He doesn't want to let it happen. What he wants is to extract our wealth to send to other country. The wealth of our Yanomami land, he will take it and send it to China, to Japan, to Germany and other places. That's his way of thinking. That's his concern, making money, earning money so that he can become rich. And when he becomes rich, and when he dies, he won't take any of it with it, not only, not even his underwear. Bolsonaro calls the climate crisis a hoax. President Trump calls the climate crisis a hoax. Can you talk about what the climate crisis means for the Anamami people, for the people of Brazil? They are a sick group. The president of the United States, the president of Brazil, and the president of Venezuela. They are talking to each other and discussing. And then they tell people there are no problems in Brazil because they want to hide it. This is very clear. Everyone knows it's taking place, climate change. He sees the fire burning up our forests, but he's not concerned about it. He's not worried when he sees the forest burning up. He's taking advantage of it. Because the fire burns up the forest and the trees burn up, and then workers come and take advantage of it and bring trees down. Yeah, that's his way of thinking. But it truly took place. It's happening. Wildfires in the forest and the forestation are increasing. Can you talk about the murder of Paolo Palino Guajajara, um, the indigenous forest protector? Uh, your organization has worked with him for some time. Recently, a group of experts released an open letter to Bolsonaro warning a genocide is underway against the indigenous tribes of the Amazon um, rainforest. Do you feel threatened yourself um, and respond to that murder? Well, I am a leader, a leader who fights. I've been fighting for 40 years, and I am threatened. I am threatened by a group of illegal gold miners and also farmers and politicians. Politicians have a way of finding someone who enjoys killing and who kills indigenous peoples. And I am persecuted. Our indigenous leaders who really fight, they want to get rid of us. So I am threatened. And I think that this will happen again. We have talked about his name, Bolsonaro. He will know that we are talking about him, about his name, Bolsonaro. So I am asking your help in order to protect us so that we won't let it happen again as it happened to other leaders who got murdered. 
lutar no muito perigoso. It is a very é, dangerous Boa Vista, struggle. Pequeno, então In é, Boa Vista, é, well, it is a small town. É, um, os Bolsonaro eles so the Bolsonaro people they pay others to go after the leaders who are fighting. What message do you have uh, for the leaders of the UN Climate Summit, the thousands of people who come from around the world? And what message do you have to the people of the world? Well, I would like uh, message, to message give a message, a message from the Yanomami people. É, pedindo, eu pedindo, I would like to ask lider, uh, the leaders, não the non-indigenous leaders from here, junto e o, também outros líderes Together da, with other uh, leaders sua, from casa, who cidade, are at their capital. homes, their cities, their então, capitals. E, e eu I would like to take ele, this opportunity to send é, them a message sabendo, so that they can know about what's going on muito, so muito they won't let it happen again uh, something very bad to my Yanomami people so that they won't let people destroy the environment so that they won't let people destroy the lungs é of planet Earth that's my quem message de, to everyone, luta, all of those who de, fight, floresta, all of those who love the forest, all of those cuidar, who like to para, protect, to pra, take care para, para filho, of nature netos, pra, for their children, netos, grandchildren, um, and the other generations. I also need help. I need help on that. Because we have grandchildren. So that they have their protected land. So that they have a protected land for them. That is why I'm giving you this message to ask for your strength, your strength, your European people to talk to Bolsonaro, to talk to the president of Brazil so that he takes care of his country, so that he can take care of it. Um, indígena, protecting it together com, with the indigenous peoples é, mora, and together mora, with é, mora um lugar sagrado, with the people who live in sacred lands nunca viu índio, no, uh, aliás, o povo de Anomami, and also que nunca viu the Yanomami peoples who have never seen está, the white man está morando a lugar sagrado. Então, uncontacted Yanomami people who live in sacred land. So I would like you to protect us, protect the isolated indigenous communities. I do not want the president of Brazil to destroy the lungs of our forest, our real Amazon. It is unique. Muita gente tá metendo a mão. Lots of pe people are mão, trying to get their hands como se, como se, on the Amazon. É, as pegando, just like bees who, pra, pra casa deles. who collect então, honey and take it to their homes. I do not want então, é to, let the same, para, to let him do para, just the same. That's my message. Para, para mulher, Luta, this is a message terra, for women who fight luta, for having the right to land, men saúde, who fight saúde, for their forest, hoje, their education, hoje, their health. Hoje, Nowadays, the young people, então, the youth, é vai, is fighting, vai, and that é, they, they are the ones who will keep on fighting. Para a gente viver. It is a struggle, Sem a fight, a luta, so we can keep alive, because without the struggle, 
forest. We won't live. So there will be no forest. So we need to fight for it so we can live. And what does the Right Livelihood Award mean to you? Why you're here in Stockholm, Sweden? I think this award is really important. It is very interesting that the government of Sweden invented this and created this award. This award is important to bring recognition to my struggle, to bring recognition to my Yanomami people so that the people from the city and the people of the planet get to know us. This is really important that the people from here are offering me this award. I never asked for it. You offered it. And I am happy to accept it. It is really important. It is the result of our fight. Brazilian indigenous leader Davi Kapanawa, co-founder of the Hutukara Yanomami Association. He'll receive the Right Livelihood Award tonight, along with the 16-year-old Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, Sahrawi human rights leader Amanatu Haidar, and Chinese women's rights lawyer Guo Jinmei. When we return, we speak to the former U.N. Special Rapporteur on Torture, who just released a devastating report on the more than 7 million children worldwide deprived of their liberty, from immigration jails to orphanages to prisons. Stay with us. <laughs> 